So guys, ito na yung itsura niya. Oh my God. It's okay na siya talaga. Pwede nang ibenta. Honest opinion na. Because it's soft. But otherwise, it's perfect. It's not too sweet. So, sakto lang. Hi guys, I'm John. And I'm Rod. And this is j TV. cheesecake. So, ano nga ba ang bisco and how to make a cheesecake? There's only one way to find out. According to Wikipedia, Lotus Biscoff, which was branded in the United States and United Kingdom, started in a Belgian Lotus Bakery, which was founded in 1932. The founders and brothers Jan, Emil, and Henry Boone made cookies for breakfast, as well as speculus for St. Nicholas Day. Interesting, eh? When I did my research on Biscoff Cheesecake, I found these two great websites. The first one is the janespatisserie.com, which has a very detailed recipe on how to make the cheesecake. And the second one is the cleobatera.com. I'm so amazed with all the cheesecake photos on their websites. Both websites are perfect reference for making the cheesecake. I did this video because I am a big fan of cheesecake. Every time na kumakain ako ng cheesecake, kahit strawberry flavor pa yan, or blueberry flavor, or even just the ordinary cheesecake, it feels like Christmas in my mouth. It tastes like heaven. May lot about it. Anyway, when we went to New York last year, there's this place called Junior's Restaurant and Bakery. So our friend, dinala niya kami doon, and then she ordered this huge ice cream and a huge container topped with this, uh, New York cheesecake, sobrang sarap, sobrang sarap niya, as in sobrang sarap niya. This is the picture, and shout out sa friend namin na si Gail sa panglilibre sa amin dun sa restaurant. Sana maulit ulit pag bumalik kami sa New York. Before we start, let me show you the ingredients and things that we need to be successful in making this cheesecake. For our base, we need Lotus Biscoff Biscuits and unsalted melted butter. For our fillings, we need cream cheese, lotus biscoff spread, double cream, and icing sugar. And to decorate, we need melted biscoff spread, whipped cream, and an optional biscoff biscuit. We also need an electric hand mixer and an optional blender, as well as these containers and utensils. So now we can start doing our cheesecake. For our first step, we need to do our cheesecake base. For our base, we need this uh, Biscoff Biscuits. This is how it looks like. See? Let me try it first. Mmm! Medyo caramel yung flavor niya. Sarap! Medyo matamis siya. For our first procedure, we need to blitz these biscuits or kailangan natin siyang dur durugin para maging parang breadcrumb siya. Usually, ginagamit dito is food processor but since we don't have that, gagamitin natin tong magic bullet. Nagamit namin to kapag gumagawa kami ng mga fruit shakes. Pero this time, let's see if magiging successful tayo sa paggawa ng breadcrumbs. Gamit tong magic bullet. Let's start! Unfortunately, it's not successful the magic bullet. So this time, we'll try to put it on this plastic container and we'll it using rolling pin. So now, for our next step, we need to mix it with our melted butter. So this one, minelt ko na ito kang ginagamit yung microwave. So ito na yung itsura niya after natin may combine yung melted butter at yung breadcrumbs ng Biscoff Biscuits. 
medyo effort lang kasi wala kaming food processor pero pero this one siguro mas pino siya kapag meron kayong food processor pero i think pwede na rin yung ganito yung itsura for our next step we need our thin cake mold like this one and then we're just gonna put this mixture inside and press firmly para makabuo tayo ng cheesecake base So now, this is what it looks like after you ma-press down yung mixture natin na butter and biscoff breadcrumbs. You will notice na may buo-buo pa siyang biscoff biscuits, which is I think mas okay para mas malasahan yung biscuit. So for our next step, we will now do the cheesecake filling. First, we need to mix our cream cheese with our biscoff spread. And then the icing sugar. Then we're going to use an electric mixer, electric hand mixer to mix all these ingredients. So there! Dapat ganito siya kalapot. After na mamix yung cream cheese, yung biscoff spread, and the icing sugar, we're now gonna put our double cream or thick cream. So based on research, you guys, dapat dahan dahan lang daw yung pagfold. I don't know why. Pero mas magiging successful at mas magi mas mabubu daw yung cheesecake kapag ka dahan dahan yung pagfold no biscoff mixture and double cream. For our next step, we can now spread this mixture on our biscuit base. So now, this is what it looks like after na natin ma-spread yung cheesecake mixture natin on the biscuit base. We just need to cover it with plastic wrapper and then put in your fridge for at least about 5 hours. Pero according to my research, mas recommended na overnight siya para mas mabuo yung cheesecake. So, lalagyan ko muna siya ng palagandahan sa gitna para alam natin kung nasa inyo center. So, now, lalagyan na natin siya ng melted biscoff spread. So now we're gonna put our whipped cream. Pero mas maganda siguro, let's practice first like this on this side. Now we can put our lotus biscuit. Finally, we can sprinkle it with our Biscoff Biscuit Crumbs. This is what it looks like after the decorate. 
So later, pupunta kami sa mga bahay ng mga friends namin para sa taste test. Cheesecake. It's not too sweet. It's a perfect balance between the cheesecake and the crust. So, sakto lang. Love it. If you will rate it 1 out of 5 spoon, 5 is the highest. I'll give it a 4.5 because I'm going to be biased. Because 1, I love cheesecake. 2, I love bisco. Tamang balance lang between the cream cheese and then the base. It's not too sweet. So, sakto lang. May mga cream cheese na sobrang tamis. Na to the point na sumasakit yung lalamunan mo. But this one, perfect. Perfect lang. Hi guys. So now, we're off to our friends' houses. We're going to do some food dash slash food tasting. And then, we're going to ask them to do some critic or to do some rating on our Biscoff Cheesecake. Sana lang buo pa yung whipped cream kasi medyo natutunaw na siya ngayon. So hopefully buo pa yung whipped cream and presentable pa siya pag binigay namin sa kanila yung cheesecake. So see you there! Let's try this. Anong first reaction mo? This is good. Hindi siya matamis. It's not as sweet. I like even with all the cookies. I just I feel like the middle part is a bit soft. But other than that, it's good. I mean, if it's firmer, I don't know. I like my cheesecakes now. My cheesecake is And then, if you're going to rate it like 1 to 5 spoons, 5 is the highest. I'll give it 4. Because if not for the... What do you call it? The base? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. You can just buy it. So, do you recommend it or not really? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> These are 73 questions. <laughs> okay, let's try with. Mm -hmm. mm. Maharap! But it's actually not too sweet. Which I like. Alright. It's extra biscuit. Pa. It's a little soft, pero kasi dahil siguro ano, it's not that cold. Pero mm -hmm. it's creamy. Nakatigim ka na ba dati ng biscoff cheese? No. As a first time. Mm -hmm. So, if you're going to rate it 1 out of 5 spoons, 5 is the highest, what will it be? I'll go for 4 and a half spoons because it's soft. But otherwise, it's perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this is it. Ito na. Honest opinion. Ha? Honest opinion. Honest opinion. Which is good because it caters to the tastes of other people. Well, for me at least, because I don't want to eat the sweets. So, if it's like this, it's perfect for me. So, if you rate it, given 1 out of 5 spoon, 5 is the highest. I give it a 4 and a half. Nox may and a half? No, 5. In honest opinion, I'm not trying to this someone's ego. Dahil <laughs> lang. Hindi, pero for me, masarap siya talaga. Kasi nga hindi siya, ang para sa akin, the fact, yung factor is yung sweetness. I'm not fond of sweets. So, if this were to be dessert, nakakainin ko five siya. Para sa akin. Kasi hindi nga siya matamis. Which is good. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. And please hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future vlogs. Bye! Alam niyo ba guys that this huge bar mesh sculpture is called Wonderland. And it was patterned from a head of a 12-year-old girl from northern Spain named Anna.